My name is Donald Byrd, I'm, and I'm the Executive Artistic Director at Spectrum Dance Theatre. I chose this piece because I think it is deceptive, pretty much in the color. There's, it's a lot of color, and so when you just kind of glance at it, you go, oh, ha, 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 so delightful, and so like that. And it's actually not delightful. The painting is delightful, but the content of, the, of, the, of it is not. The way she is posed and the curtains make us think of a, a girly show. So it's like a burlesque show. Then we wonder if she is consciously performing for the men. So there are two there and one up there, which that one apparently is the artist. And so is she performing for them? There's a lot of talk about how everybody is complicit in this painting. Is the rubber ducky complicit as well? Because she's, and then the other question, which is a much harder one, is she complicit because she's knowingly and willingly performing? But then at the same time, it raises the questions about the proverbial male gaze. And is she performing because of the male gaze or that the men are doing a projection, that what we're looking at is their projection of her rather than what she's actually doing? Two men here, one black, one white, uh, that they are united. One of uh, an instance where their separate racial differences come together to kind of participate in uh, oogling her. Oogling her? Yes, that's the word. Uh, oogling her. And then also the thing that's interesting about it is that they are looking kind of up at her a little bit. And so it's kind of like you could say, well, they're just looking at different body parts, but they might also be uh, looking at, uh, from their social position. I think he wants us to, to, to laugh a little bit too in a kind of ironic way about it. I mean, it's ironic that the black and white man are kind of go, okay, we can, we can agree on this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can agree on this. And um, I, I think what it does, the humor or the irony of it allows it to get past the fences. I think it's a way of pulling us in so that we're actually able to receive the message or messages of the painting. Uh, and so that the painting exists on a, a lot of levels. There's some really obvious things about it, like I said before, but there's some really subtle things about how it communicates to us. I mean, it kind of gets underneath our skin because the longer we stare at it, the longer we gaze at it, uh, the more uh, meaning seems to emerge from it.